What's up everybody, it's Roaming Gaming here for Greatness Debates. I am finally back, I'm not dead unfortunately, but uh... Wait, who are you? I wish he was. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna start again. Oh, come on, that was so good. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Robin Gaming here, so I'm finally back here at Greatness Debates, uh, yes I am not dead, and we actually made a video I think a couple of months ago on our Uncharted 4 multiplayer wishlist, um, but of course a big part for Uncharted 4 is going to be the single player as well, so basically what we're going to do in this one uh, is simply stating our wishes for the single player, uh, you know, for Uncharted 4 of course, and I think we've all written down about two, three or four uh, points here that we really like to see, you know, and uh, I only have two so I'm not going to start it off here, Ghost, you can go ahead and start off with your first one. Right, first up, I would like there to be a definitive ending to the game series, as in either Drake or Elena to die, preferably Drake. I mean, I think the title seems a little bit too obvious to, to seem true if it's called A Thief's End. Yeah. Um, like, for Drake to for Drake to die, that's the, that's the only doubt I have about it, because it would be really, really obvious if it did end up coming up with that. But if they could do it in any other way and to make the series just end off definitively with a final last, you know, very good game to finish it all off and, you know, no other sort of you know, other sort of studios could continue with the game or anything, you know, I don't want that to happen. I'd like it to end off all in one game and that would be my first sort of wish because really, I think going past number four would be a bit too far. I'm not sure if you two agree with me on that or not. <clears> yeah, but, but what if they, like, what if they do do it? Like, how would you want this game to end for for example, if they do decide to make sequels or something, that's what I'm wondering. Like, what is Northrop going to do? Yeah, then? I'm not sure. I mean, I haven't thought about it that much, to be honest. I've always just sort of presumed this would be the last game in the series. That's yeah. the thing. I mean, like, with it being called the Thief's End, but also with it being such a long wait since Uncharted 3, it seems to be that they're putting all the work they can possibly put into it yeah. to make it the best last game. So I haven't really thought about it. I can't say, like, what I think they'd do if they did want to continue the series, but. I sort of half presume that they wouldn't because, you know, that it is getting to that point now where it's getting a little bit repetitive with Drake keep coming back, you know, doing the same thing over and over again. So, mm. yeah, that'll be my yeah. first one. Uh, so, kind of leading on from what Ghost was saying, I've pretty much got the a very similar point for, for my kind of wish, but mine was no cliche ending, um, <laughs> which is... <laughs> Which is as, it's kind of annoying is what Uncharted 3 and well all of the Uncharted have done actually especially especially all of the especially Uncharted 2 like that just like ended with like a very very happy ending uh, in the sense that it was kind of it was it's always that thing which is like it's always Sully uh, Drake and Elena and they always kind of like just yeah. walk off it, like and it's just it's the same thing yeah. every time so this time I wanted kind of a bit more as, as what Ghost was saying like definitive very very kind of this is the end you cannot you cannot continue this in a way um, because like I, I'm not, again not but. No cliche ending in sense that no, just Drake dying. We don't want that. That's, that's again a bit a bit pointless. Okay, that completely just made my point completely <laughs> not true. Thanks again. for that, Oscar. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm just. How is that but, a cliche? Well, well, because the point is, a thief's end makes it sound very, very much like Drake would die. Yeah. Well, it could be any thief, really. And so, yeah, but like, it, it's it's. To me, it seems too obvious that the main character would die. Yeah, it's, 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 I gotta say, it's gotten for me. It's gotten to the point where I'd find it cliche if, like, it turns out that the title uh, doesn't refer to Drake because all these titles so far in Uncharted games have not actually referred to Drake himself, but like to Francis Drake or you know anything uh, outside of outside of the main character. But yeah, well, I mean, you could argue that Drake's deception is about Drake himself because yeah, his, but it was more like actual Francis name. Drake's. Yeah, but it's, but it's yeah, but his name is his name difference. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, yeah, I know that's, that's the pain I did, but but it's 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 kind of it's a double meaning in that sense. Yeah, but you know, anyway, the point is that I don't, I don't want that that very very kind of cliche ending in the sense that the main character would die. It, it's it's quite it, to me. It seems very very obvious. I'd hope that again, an ending is the ending shocking. Um, but I, I but I want um there to be something that isn't as obvious as Drake would die. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> okay, so my first point, and this is really the most important thing for me, and I don't really know how to call this, I've been thinking about this so many times and already like mentioned it in my own videos, but like consistency or continuity, I don't know what to call it exactly, because I really felt with the first two Uncharted games, what they did so well is that they had set pieces in mind and they had different locations in mind, and they found a good way to connect those with each other. And in Uncharted 3, I really felt like they did a super poor, poor job at that, because 
every couple of chapters you would go to a different location but it was done in such a you know not natural way i guess uh where like i mean from uncharted 2 you can really tell in that game especially you do have quite a lot of different locations you know like snowy areas nepal uh, uh borneo the jungle and like the the temples everything like that it was all connected so well and uncharted 3 i saw these sort of like uh, fades and transitions all the time you know because oh now we're going to this part of the of the world or to this part and i just want to get rid of that sort of stuff so I hope uh, you know that's kind of like what they uh, improve on with Uncharted 4 again yeah well that was my next point actually <laughs> like the exact same thing <laughs> Consider that so, one invalid. yeah I mean that's both my points now made and valid by you two but um, I, I'll move on to my last point then um, yeah, sure. which was for all the characters to have an influence because I felt as if with Uncharted 3 the use of what was his cutter what was his name yeah um, I think that was his, and um Chloe also wasn't a very big influence in Uncharted 3, and those two characters in particular, along with a few others, um, I felt didn't really have a massive influence and just weren't very effective at all. Along with the villains, I mean, the villains in Uncharted 3 were pathetic, um, so if they could if they could make better villains, that would be very good. You know, maybe back to the standard they were at Uncharted 2, um, and even Uncharted 1 with Eddie Raj, I mean, who knows, he may still return to the series, but I think that as long as they have decent characters in this game they can't go much wrong from there because that is a lot of what Uncharted is um, so really I would hope that with with all my heart that I actually do manage to get some decent characters in there have no characters in there that aren't needed like don't have characters that are in there for only one or two scenes I don't think there's any point to that I think it's more important to have the most important characters there and involve them and develop the character and that would be what I want to see the most from them yeah. So again, I've I've got one that's kind of similar to, to to what you said, but it's just like we've got all exactly the same points here. But and um, the idea is that like I wanted like the the set pieces to all link together, or in the sense that they don't just like they're, they're completely pointless sometimes. Like I mean, they, they didn't make any sense to like the whole story in a sense. Um, so I'm trying to think of an example off the top of my head. Uh, in Chart Three, I mean that you had the plane sequence. Um, again, it was a very very good sequence. It was a very good set piece. Um, but it was it, it almost like it was like the filler between going to um, what was the place called the the sand the, the yeah, sand the place yeah, yeah the desert <laughs> and then also and then also from um, desert where, where 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 Nate comes out of the the sea and finds a later and all that kind of stuff yeah. it was all very very much like it was like just a bit of a filler in a yeah, sense but come but on it, the cruise ship remember that like Sully was supposed to be held captive on the cruise ship oh yeah it wasn't even a case like. Come on. Yeah. Okay. That was yeah. Okay. That was that was pretty funny as well. But um, it, you know, there was, there was lots of ones which were just like slightly pointless. But the set pieces are always so good. Um, yeah. So I want the set pieces to be on the high, the highest level that they can be. Push the PS4 completely to its limits. And then also the fact that I want them to actually link to the story because that's the main kind of problem that Uncharted 3 particularly had. Hmm. Um, but yeah. You know what I'm thinking with that one is like, how can they even go more over the top than when Uncharted 3? Like, what are you gonna do to outdo Drake falling out of the plane? It's, come on, that's like impossible almost. Well, it's mm -hmm. a Naughty Dog. I mean, they, they can do anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what's he going to do now? He's going to go to like something like Columbia City in the Sky or something like, it's almost undoable. But Yeah, but then again, you could also say the same with The Last of Us. I mean, how could they make a better story than The Last of Us? And oh, you want the last Ghost, of too, Ghost, <laughs> will you please shut up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll go to it my final point things. here, I guess. Which, uh, Ghost, you actually uh, did make invalid this time around, because I also stated I want the next Uncharted game to have good villains while you drop something there. Sorry, oh, that's what the hell that was. <laughs> but I want Uncharted 4 to have good villains because, like, yeah, Uncharted 3 villains were absolutely terrible. Talbot and Marlo, uh, you know, no interesting sides to them at all, I thought. Talbot maybe in some way actually more interesting to me than, than Marlo because of how he, he seemed to like disappear at some point, right? Like he was, uh, there was this, this confrontation he had with Drake all of a sudden he was gone. They never explained what happened. Uh, at one point he was wearing a bulletproof vest when he got hit apparently, but they never explained it in the game. Like so many, so many things of Talbot that, that did seem interesting, but um, they just didn't explain in any way. And yeah, I just felt like that was kind of weird. But in Uncharted 1 and 2, you know, once again, these games have just done a great job at, at those specific things because Eddie Raja, Harry Flynn, uh, Zoran Lazarevich, I thought were all great, uh, you know, actual villains that were either, you know, just like scary like Lazarevich or, you know, and by that I just mean frightening, of course, or um, uh, funny in a way like Flynn was and like Eddie Raja was. So I really want Uncharted 4 to have good villains this time around again. Uh, yeah, and then I'll be very happy. But uh, Oscar, do you have a final point? 
Mm. Yeah, well, mine was kind of like a very, very kind of short one, just to say, like, keep the comedy or keep the kind of satire in there, which is which is renowned renowned <clears throat> for the Uncharted series. I mean, they have said that like they that, that it's not going to be super dark. Like, I, I remember seeing that, and I think it was the Game Informer thing, which they had back in February time. Um, I think it was. Um, was it Neil Druckmann who said that they weren't going to do it? I, th- I think that they're going to yeah. still keep the comedy in there. Yeah. Um, I think Josh Sher is meant to be one of the writers on it, and, he, and yeah. he's meant to be kind of like the main comedy person. Um, but like as I said before, like you, you just keep the comedy in there, even though it's meant to be more of a dark story. Uh, but I still want the comedy to have that kind of overlapping sense of it. When, when it's like a dark situation, Nate just comes out with something funny to kind of you know break the fourth yeah, wall in that yeah, sense yeah, or make it, make it more interesting. Yeah. Um, because, you know, you don't, you, don't, you don't want like constant shooting 24-7, which is, you know, what some people think in Uncharted is just loads and loads of death 24-7 because he's just going around like aimlessly shooting people sometimes. But like yeah. when the comedy brings into it, it makes it more funny. It makes the game slightly more unique because, I mean, lots of games don't have that much comedy in them. Um, and so I, I like to have that kind of element of comedy in there and hopefully they'll, they'll keep that up there like what uh, Amy Hennig was doing quite a lot yeah. but uh, mm-hmm. anyway yeah that's pretty much all of our points I believe yeah well I swear like you know the best comedy is seriously the comedy like making a joke at the point where you're facing death or something is what Drake was always very known for and mm. yeah those those moments are hilarious but uh, the story will be darker as we as we you know can probably expect with Neil Druckmann being involved yeah but what's darker Henning, like I find that I so s- weird like people yeah, say not, oh Neil Druckmann sure. is involved but he was also involved in Uncharted 1 and 2 like it really doesn't matter that much you know I'm, I still think it's going to be quite similar to all the previous ones but it's a little more serious I guess you know cause I it's hope the, so yeah. yeah it's the final story it's Nate who's like reunited with his brother he takes his brother very seriously probably in the game like that's that's really I think the tale they're trying to tell in this one uh, which all in all is more serious I I don't know if darker would necessarily be the way to describe it but of course we can't say because the game is not out yet but yeah I, f- I feel like people are kind of overreacting to the whole dark part honestly um but i like that it's that it's probably going to be more serious than than what it was in the previous ones uh it feels feels like a natural kind of like evolve uh, or like you know evolving a, a story here in the in the last game most likely but yeah, well maybe nate's meant to be a little bit more mature now that he's a little yeah. bit older maybe that's sort of the link they're trying to make yeah yeah, but yeah, anyway, uh, these were our points indeed. So uh, we want to know, of course, from you in the comments, uh, what are you looking forward to in the Uncharted 4 single player? What would you like them to see improve on compared to the other games? Uh, and with that being said, thanks a lot for watching, and we hope to see you again <laughs> next time. Next Dutch. time. Dutch. Dutch. Panther.